family, welcome to this evening's weekly prayer service that we are holding corporately as a family. You are welcome and we are pleased and encouraged to share the live stream. We are going to be praying together this evening. Let us start with thanksgiving. Let us open the book of Psalm 92 from verse 1 until verse 15. And you are going to read it aloud with an open Bible. And we are going to give thanks to the Lord for his goodness. May we open Psalm 92 verse 1 until verse 15 and read it aloud as a thanksgiving unto our Lord. It, re it reads thus. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night on an instrument of ten strings, on the lute and on the harp with harmonious sound. For you, Lord, have made me glad through your work. I will triumph in the work of your hands. O oh Lord, how great are your works. Your thoughts are very deep. A senseless man does not know, nor does a fool understand this. When the wicked spring up like grass, and when all the workers of iniquity flourish, it is that they may be destroyed forever. But you, Lord, are on high forevermore. For behold, your enemies, O Lord, for behold, your enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn you have exalted like a wild ox. I have been anointed with fresh oil. My eye also has seen my desire on my enemies. My ears hear my desire on the wicked. Who rise up against me? The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be fresh and flourishing to declare that the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. Heavenly Father, we just want to come before your throne of grace this evening, O oh God, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to thank you and to appreciate you for your goodness upon our lives, for your goodness upon our families, for your goodness upon our local church, for your goodness even upon our communities. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you that we are seeing your goodness all around. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for your marvelous works that you are performing in our lives. We thank you for your marvelous works that you are performing even in our families. We thank you for your marvelous works that you are performing even in the marketplace where you have planted us in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We appreciate your grace. We appreciate your goodness, oh God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we appreciate the fresh oil with which you have anointed us. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we appreciate the fresh oil. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you have exalted, Heavenly Father, our lives, Heavenly Father. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you have lifted us up, oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you have placed us upon a rock in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we come before you to say we appreciate you, to say we thank you, to say we love you because you first loved us, oh God. To say we appreciate all the good things that you are experiencing, all the good things that we are receiving from you, oh God, on our personal behalf and also on behalf of our families and also on behalf of our local church and our community at large. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we say take all the glory, oh God. Take all the glory in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth for only you, only you are worthy, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are holy. There is no unrighteousness in you, O God. We appreciate you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Saints, we are continuing in prayer. We are now going to pray for our state-owned entities.
So our first scripture will be found in the book of Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1. Proverbs 21, verse 1, and I will be reading in the King, New King James Version. It reads, The king's heart is in the hands of the Lord. Like the rivers of water, he turns it wherever he wishes. So with this scripture, we are going to pray for the president and also his cabinet. We are going to pray that their hearts will be driven by the Lord and that they will be surrounded with people of integrity and insight who will give them advice, proper advice in the face of national crisis. So let us pray for our president and also his cabinet. Our Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God, we come before your throne of grace. We are lifting up our president, the president of this nation. Father, we lift him up before your throne of grace together with all his cabinet members. Father, the Bible says the heart of the Lord is in the hand of the, or the, heart of the, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. So, Father, we are praying in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we give you the heart of the president. We give you the heart of the president and the, all the ministers in cabinet. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we are praying that may you be the one who directs his heart. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may you be the one who guides his heart. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the midst of all these crises that are happening in our nation, Father, we are praying, depending upon you and calling upon you, that, oh God, may May you reach out. May you reach out to his heart. May you reach out to the heart of all the ministers in cabinet. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that may they be driven by you, O God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May they be driven by you, O God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, we pray also that may they be surrounded with people of integrity to give them the advice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We pray, oh God, may they consult people of integrity, people of insight, who are going to give them, Heavenly Father, proper advice in the face of this adversity that we are facing as a nation, in the face of this economic crisis that we are facing as a nation. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, you are in charge of South Africa. Father, you are in charge of the heart of the King. You are in charge of the heart of the leaders of this nation. So, Father, we are praying. Father, drive their hearts. Father, guide their hearts. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mayanda la boso toria bakasa taya la ramande. Rebende le boso toria bakasa taya la ramaya. Rebende le boso toria bakasa taya la baye. Rebende le boso toria bakasa taya la rabosa. Father, their hearts are at your mercy, O God. Their hearts are at your mercy, O God. May you continue to drive their hearts. May you continue to lead them, O God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, give them Daniels and Josephs around them, O God, who have integrity, who are filled with the Spirit of the Lord, who will be able, Heavenly Father, to give them proper advice. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, to be able to navigate the nation out of this crisis. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, Father, we pray for Daniels. We pray, oh God, for Josephs who are supposed to be standing, Heavenly Father, in the court of the King, in the court of the government. Father, we are praying, raise them and push them forward, oh God. Position them, oh God, to be able to become the voice of the kingdom of God in the ears of the President, in the ears, Heavenly Father, of the cabinet ministers, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that they may receive wisdom from above that they may receive wisdom from on high that they may receive prophetic insights of how to govern this nation of how to lead this nation of how to navigate the crisis that we find ourselves in as a nation in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ Father we thank you we give you all the praise in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus thank you Lord Amen and Amen Father Oh, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Saints, we are continuing in prayer. Our second prayer point, we are going to be praying that the deep and complicated challenges of ESCOM will be resolved. We are praying that a strategy to systematically deal with 
these challenges will be implemented. So let us now pray for ESCOM and say, Father, may all the deep challenges that are, in, that are facing ESCOM right now be resolved and may they be resolved speedily. And we pray for a strategy to systematically deal with all of them at once. Let us pray. Our Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God, we come before your throne of grace once more. Father, we are praying for ESCOM. We lift ESCOM before your throne of grace. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, there are deep and complicated challenges in ESCOM. Father, we are praying that you know they are root. Father, you know and you have an answer for them. So we are praying, O oh God, that may they be resolved quickly and speedily, O oh God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray that may these challenges, Heavenly Father, be resolved speedily. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray, O oh God, that may you download a strategy, O oh God, to systematically deal with them, O oh God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for strategy that will be known and strategies that will be implemented in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mayanda la boso toria baka zata yala ramande rebende reboso toria baka zata yala rabaza rebeze deke dele reboso toria makazande remende le boso toria baka zata yala rabesa mandele rebesa zata yala rabande le besi yala maya rebesi katala raboso tori baka zaya reboko zoto la rabaka Zataya la ramande, rebende le reboso tori baka zataya rabosa, rekeze tele rebondo loboso tori abaka zaya, rebaka zataya la rabaya ndele rebosa, mandele le re reboso tori abaka zataya la rabosa, rebende le re reboso tori baka zataya la ramande, rebeke zita kaya la raboso toli braka baya, rebeke te reboso tola rabaga daya la rabaye. Father, we pray for this. Power generation, utility, Father, we pray. May you be the one who leads it, O oh God. Be the one, O oh God, who downloads wisdom and makes it available for the CEO and everyone who is involved in the management of this entity. Father, we are praying. Be the one who guides them. Be the one who shows them the solution, the answer to the problems and the challenges that ESCOM is facing. And we pray, O oh Lord, that may they be resolved. May they be resolved speedily, O oh God, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We have prayed, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now we are going to pray, also praying for ESCOM. Let us pray that may ESCOM reach mutual agreements with all communities, municipalities, and businesses regarding outstanding payments. So in debt collection, we are going to pray for agreement that may ESCOM reach mutual agreements with all communities, with all municipalities, and all businesses regarding outstanding payments. Let us pray for agreement. Father, we come before your throne of grace. We are praying for ESCOM once more, O oh God. We are praying, Heavenly Father, that may all communities and municipalities and businesses reach a mutual agreement heavenly father concerning outstanding debts in the name of the lord jesus christ and outstanding payments that should be made to the power utility father we are praying we pray for peace oh god in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are praying for peace. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Mayanda la boso toria baka zata yala ramande le bosa. Rebesita kalambra hamasi teke le broho soto korabagadaya. Korabagadele brehebesita kalaramande. We pray for mutual agreement. Two cannot walk together except they be agreed. So Father, we pray for agreement. May they agree, O God. May they work together, O oh God. May they work in peace. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every single community 
every single municipality oh god every single business operating in south africa may they reach mutual agreements heavenly father with the power utility to solve the matter of outstanding debt to solve the matter of outstanding payment in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ mayanda labo sotoria bakazata yala ramaya zendala basite lembro kozita rabagadeza gori bagadeze delembro hobosita kalabasaya kolaba sataya la mandele bosotoria makazenda gora bagazenda rabayandele bosotori bagadeza bori bagadeza dara bosoto lembre hebesia rebende rebesita kayala ramandele bosa mandele bosotori bakasata yala ramanda intervene spirit of the living god bring peace within all these groups together with the power utility in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ bring peace spirit of the living god in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ we thank you and we appreciate you for the peace that shall prevail in these negotiations peace that shall prevail in these processes of debt collection in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ father we thank you thank you lord in jesus name amen we are continuing to pray saints according to proverbs chapter 15 verse 3 proverbs chapter 15 verse 3 i'm going to read in the new king james version it says the eyes of the lord are in every place keeping watch on the evil and the good so now we are going to pray that all kinds of theft and sabotage taking place at the power generation plants may, may be exposed and dealt with because the, the scripture says the eyes of the Lord are everywhere. So all these thefts that are happening and the sabotages that are happening, the Lord sees them. So let us pray and ask him, Father, may all these kinds of theft and sabotage that are taking place at the power generation plants, may they be exposed and may they be dealt with. Let us pray. Our Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God, we come before your throne of grace according to proverbs chapter 15 verse 3 that says the eyes of the lord are in every place keeping watch on the evil and the good father we pray praying for the power utility praying, praying for escom once more oh god we pray that may all kinds of theft and all kinds of sabotage that are taking place at the power generation plants heavenly father we pray that you are the one who sees them father may they be exposed and may they be dealt with. Nothing is hidden from your sight. You know, Heavenly Father, who is behind the theft. You know, O oh God, who is behind the sabotages. So, Father, we come before your throne of grace. We pray that you are the one who sees them. Father, expose them. Bring them to light. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray, O oh God, bring them to the light. May they be seen. May they be exposed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, expose the perpetrators who are behind theft. Expose the perpetrators, O oh God, who are behind the sabotages. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, expose them, O oh God, who are hiding even behind the system. Father, we pray, O oh God, that your eyes can penetrate behind even the veils of darkness. You are able to penetrate because nothing is hidden from you. In you there is no darkness at all. So Father we pray, oh God, expose these criminal elements. Expose these sabotages, oh God, that may be deliberate, that are happening heavenly for the in-power generation plans. We pray, oh God, expose them and let them be dealt with. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ may they be exposed and may they be dealt with in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ mayanda la boso tori abakazata yala ramaya zenda rara boso tori bege de rebesita reboko zita rabaga de rebende lebosa rebende re re boso tori bagada ya rabaza rebaga dara rara boso tori bege tele rebeya ge tele rebeya ndala rara boso tori amande rebende le re Sotoria Bakazaya, Rebaga Zadaya Larabayan de Rebosa, Rebesita Calambra Hamasitea, Rebesitea la Bacasataya Larabosa, Rebeke Zita Larabayan de Rebosa, Rebesia Larabayan de Rabosotoria Bagadaya, expose 
thefts that are happening in the dark, sabotages that are happening in the dark, Father, you see them, you know them. May they be exposed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and may they be dealt with. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, we have prayed. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. We are continuing to pray, saints. We'll be reading from the book of Job, chapter 5, verse 12. Job, chapter 5, verse 12. I'll be reading in the New King James Version. It says, He frustrates the devices of the crafty, so that their hands cannot carry out their plans. Let me read again. It says, He frustrates the devices of the crafty, so that their hands cannot carry out their plans. The scripture, from this scripture, I'm going to be praying that the Lord will frustrate the plans of those who are planning acts of corruption so that their plans achieve no success. So let us pray against corruption and the plans and the plots to do acts of corruption. Let us pray that the Lord will frustrate the plans, frustrate even those who are thinking of planning of carrying out such acts of corruption and pray that they will achieve no success they will not be successful in what they are thinking to be to do to our nation let us pray father in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth father god we come before your throne of grace according to job chapter 5 verse 12 that says you frustrate the devices of the crafty Father, we pray, may you frustrate um, their plans and their plots to carry out acts of corruption in our nation and also in ESCOM. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we pray that may you frustrate those plans in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Frustrate the plans of corruption across our nation. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray, oh God, we come against them, the acts of corruption. We come against them, Heavenly Father, praying that may you frustrate them frustrate them, O oh God, and cause them to fail. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, frustrate them and cause them to fail. We decree and we declare that those plans of corruption, O oh God, they shall not succeed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, those plans of corruption, O oh God, they shall not succeed in our nation, O oh God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Corruption shall not continue in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we come against the evil plots of corruption, the evil plans of corruption. Father, may they be frustrated. Catch the crafty heavenly Father in their works. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, catch the crafty, oh God, those who think they are smarter than the system. Father, we pray. Father, catch them out. Expose them, O oh God, and stop their evil plans. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Mayanda Laboso Toria Bacazaya, Rebaca Zadaya Larabayande Lebosa, Mayande Leboso Toria Bacazande Rebea, Zande Rebea and Araboso Toria Bacazaya, Rebaca Zadaya Larabayande Lebosa, Merabaca Zataya Laraboso Toria Maya, Rebende Leboso Tori Bagada Bagazada, Rebagada Rabaga. Delle reboso tori amande, rebende le reboso tori abaka zaya, rebaka zata ya la rabaya andele rebosa, mandele reboso tori abaka zata ya la rabaya. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, you know the intents in the hearts of men. Father, you see the plans and the, the plots in the hearts of men. Father, we pray, catch them right there when they are still conceiving those thoughts. Catch them right there, O oh God, when they are still conniving and planning. Father, catch them right there, where they are still plotting, O oh God, and scheming as to how they are going to steal from the coffers of this nation, how they are going to be stealing, Heavenly Father, from the economy of this nation. Father, we pray, catch them, O oh God, in their acts. 
in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, frustrate their plans. Let their plans not go accordingly. Let their plans fail, O God, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you. We give you all the praise, all the glory, O God, all the worship, all the honor. For only you are worthy, O God, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And then lastly, in this, uh, the, the, the section for state-owned entities, we are going to pray that the Lord will lift up the challenges of Prasa, uh, for example, theft of cables and railway lines, and that the security agents will catch the perpetrator. So now let us lift up Prasa and ask the Lord that may the Lord lift up the challenges that are facing Prasa, and also expose those who are behind thefts of cables, those who are behind uh, stealing railway lines. And let us ask that the Lord will help the security agents to catch all the perpetrators who are behind these acts. Let us pray. Our Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we come before your throne of grace once more, O God. We are lifting up Prasa, O God, before your throne of grace. Father, we pray that may you lift up the challenges that are facing Prasa right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we bring Prasa before you. Father, your hand may it rest upon Prasa in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray, O oh God, lift up the challenges that are facing Prasa right now. The examples of theft of cables. Father, we bring them before your throne of grace. You know the perpetrators, O oh God, for nothing is hidden from your sight. You know who, who is behind the, 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 the stealing of the cables. You know who is behind the stealing of the railway lines. So, Father, we pray help the security agents to catch those perpetrators in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Help the security agents, oh God, to be able to catch those who are behind the stealing of cables and the stealing of railway lines, the vandalism of stations. Father, we pray in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ that may you be the one, oh God, who is behind, working behind the scenes, helping the security agents oh God, to be able to respond, to be able to catch every person who is behind cable theft, who is behind railway lines, Heavenly Father, vandalism, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May Father, expose those criminals who are stealing cables. May they be caught. Those criminals, Heavenly Father, who are tampering with railway lines, who are vandalizing the, 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 the property of Prasa. Father, we are praying. May they be caught in their act. In the mighty name of the Lord, the, the, the Lord Jesus, we pray, O oh God, may justice prevail against them, O oh God. May the justice of the Lord prevail against them. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. We are now continuing in prayer. Our second segment, we are going to pray for GKCC ministry. Let us start with the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 7, verse 12. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 7, and verse 12. I'll be reading in the New King James Version. It reads, Then Samuel took a stone and set it up between Mizpah and Shen and called its name Ebenezer, saying, Thus far the Lord has helped us. 
So with this scripture, we're going to be thanking the Lord for being with us as GKCC until now. We are going to thank him for his faithfulness, even going into the future. Let us thank our Father. Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Father, we come before your throne of grace as GKCC. Father, we appreciate you. Father, we thank you for being good to us and for being with us. We appreciate your presence that you have been with us, Heavenly Father. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, to be at this point where we are right now, Father, we thank you that you, you are the one who has been with us throughout the entire journey until we get to this point. We appreciate and we acknowledge your hand. We acknowledge your grace that has carried us. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we acknowledge your help that has forever been present in this house. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you that you have continually helped this house. You have continually carried this house. You have continually supplied this house with grace, supplied this house with resources, supplied this house with everything that we need for life and for godliness. So Father, we appreciate you this, this evening. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we appreciate you this evening, oh God. We call upon the name of the Lord. We say the name of the Lord, it is glorified. The name of the Lord, it is exalted in our midst. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, the name of the Lord, it is exalted in this house. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, we acknowledge the power of the name of the Lord, the authority behind the name of the Lord that you have given to us as a resource, that you have given to us as a tool, that you have given to us, oh God, as a tool that we can use to advance the kingdom. Father, we thank you for the power and the authority of the name of Jesus in this house that has always been working for us that has always been producing results for us. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, no other name but the name of Jesus Christ has been exalted in this house. So Father, we thank you for the name of Jesus. We thank you for giving us the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and we pray, oh God, may you continue being faithful to what this house, even going into the future. Continue being faithful, O oh God, towards us. We pray, show your faithfulness towards us, O oh God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, show your faithfulness towards us, O oh God. Over the words, the prophetic words that you have received, Father, watch them that they may be fulfilled. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, watch, keep watch over your words to perform them. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every outstanding prophecy that we have received as a house, Father, may you continue being faithful towards it. Watch over it, Heavenly Father, in order for you to, to be able to perform it. In the name of Jesus Christ, perform every promise. Perform every promise and every prophetic word that you have released over this house. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you that even when we are faithless, you remain faithful, O oh God. You remain faithful towards us. So we just want to take this time and this moment to say, Ebenezer, you have been with us, O oh God. Ebenezer, you have carried us. Ebenezer, you have helped us, O oh God. And you, you will continue helping us. You will continue carrying us. You will continue dispensing your grace into this place. You will continue dispensing your grace into every ministry that forms part of this house. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We are continuing in prayer. According to Psalm 32, 35, verse 27. Psalm 35, verse 27. The book of Psalm 35, verse 27. This is how it reads in the New King James Version. It says, Let them shout for joy and be glad. Who favor my righteous cause? And let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Hallelujah. 
So now we're going to pray for the health, the protection, and the all-round prosperity of our senior pastors in GKCC. Let us lift them up before the Lord and pray that may the Lord bless them with health, bless them with protection, and bless them with all-round prosperity in their lives. Let us pray. Our Father, we come before your throne of grace. Father, we are lifting up our senior pastors, Apostle Wanka Mohal and Prophetess Joy Mohali. Father, we are lifting them up before your throne of grace. We are praying, Heavenly Father, for your protection. Bless them with protection in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we are also praying for health. Father, we pray for divine health over their lives and in their lives. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we lift them up before your throne of grace. We pray let your hand rest upon them to protect them, O God. And where there is sickness, Father, we pray may it be dealt with them by your anointing. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for divine health to get rid of the seed of sickness that may be in their bodies. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we we cast the root of sickness in their bodies. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we cast the root of infirmity in their bodies. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that they will stand upright and strong. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that they will stand in good health, in divine health. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Mayandala Bosotoria Bakazadarabaya, Rebe we pray also for their protection protect them and protect their family in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ we bring them under your cloud, O oh God, under your protection, O oh God, we pray that may you continually protect them. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, continually defend them against attacks, even in the spirit and also in the natural. Father, protect them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we decree and we declare that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and every tongue that rises against their lives, that rises against their ministry, that rises against their family, that rises against the works of their hands. Father, we declare that those tongues are condemned right now. In the, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, those tongues are condemned. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every accusation that is brought against them, Father, we bring it to nothing. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we take authority against it and we bring it to nothing. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we bring every negative voice that is speaking against them to, to silence. Let them be silenced right now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let them be brought to silence right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for all round prosperity in their lives. We pray for all round prosperity that you are going to prosper them. You are going to prosper them. You are continuing to prosper them even beyond where they are right now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray, prosper them, O God. Open doors for them. Give them favor. Give them peace. Give them rest for their souls. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, give them peace in their hearts. Give them rest in their souls that they may sleep well, O oh God, even at night, without any worry, without any anxiety, without any fear of the future, because you have secured the future for them. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. We are continuing in prayer. We are going to pray the same prayer now for our newly ordained pastors and their families. Starting with Pastor Azania Kutwani, Pastor Thomas Mlambo, Pastor Mwekezi Mujadi, Pastor Dike Mujadi, and also Pastor Amos Mutembu. We are lifting them up before the throne of grace and praying the same prayer that we have prayed for our senior pastors also upon them. 
let us pray. Our Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we come before your throne of grace. Father, we are lifting up our newly ordained pastors in GKCC. We pray for Pastor Zania Kutuani. We pray for Pastor D.K. Mujadi. We pray for Pastor Mweketi Mujadi. We pray for Pastor Thomas Mlambo. We pray for Pastor Amos Mutembu. Father, we are praying for them. We lift them up before your throne of grace. We are praying for your protection upon them. We pray for your strong right hand to rest upon them and to rest upon their families. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we pray, protect them, O God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we decree, Heavenly Father, Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17, over their lives and over their families. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Every attack that is fashioned against them, oh God, and their families in their spirit. Father, we come against it right now. We intercept them right now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we intercept every arrow that is aimed against them. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you through your angels intercept every arrow. Intercept every arrow, intercept every weapon in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mayanda la bosotori abaka sata yala ramande, rebende rebo sotori baka sata yala rabaya, rebe setele rebo koto la rabaga zada, rebe gede rebo sotori abaga da yala rabande, rebende le rebo sotori abaka sata ya, rebe kesetele rebo ndolo rebo ri abaga de ya, bori abaga de yala rabasa ta yala rabayande. Rebendele re rebo sotori abaka sata yala rabaya. Rebeke zitala braka bazigeta. Father, we are now praying for their health. We pray bless them with divine health. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Bless them with divine health. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray for their bodies. We pray for their souls. We pray that may they be whole, Heavenly Father. May they be made whole. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every root of sickness, every root of weakness, every root of infirmity in their bodies, we are cursing them right now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are cursing those roots. They will not produce any sickness. They will not produce any disease. They will not produce, Heavenly Father, any infirmity in their bodies, in their lives, holistically. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your hand is upon them, O God. Your hand is upon them, O God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, their health is in your hands, Heavenly Father. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray, make them whole and keep them whole in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth make them whole and keep them whole we pray for strength keep them strong oh God in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ make them strong strengthen them with might even in in the inner man we pray oh God may they be strengthened with might in the inner man in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ mayanda la boso tori bagada bagazada rebagazede reboroboria bagadaya rebagadere bogodoroboria bagadeba rebegedere reboso tori Kazande, Rebendele Boso Toria Bakasaya, Rebe Alaraboso Tole Rebendele Besa, Mandele Bese Tela Rabaka Sataya La Rabosa, Lebraka Bagazidera, Lebraka da Bagadebo Godorobosia, Rebo Godoria Bagadarabaga, Regede Reboso Toria Bakasataya La Ramande. We even pray for their prosperity. We pray that may the Lord prosper them in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May you prosper them, O God. Prosper them and prosper their families. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. May they prosper in all that they do. In the ministry, in their workplaces, in, in their families, in the community, in whatever that they do. Every project, Heavenly Father, that they, are, they, that they are undertaking. Father, we pray, may they prosper. 
May they prosper in all that they do. May their hands be blessed. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may everything that they touch, may it be blessed. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, increase them, O God, even financially. Increase them, O God, even materially. Increase them, O God, even in your peace. Increase them, O God, in rest. Increase them, O God, in stability. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you, we honor you, and we bless you for all our local pastors in GKCC. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We are now going to pray for branch pastors, GKCC branch pastors, according to First Psalm 91, verse 10. Psalm 91, verse 10. Psalm 91, verse 10 says, No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. So now we are going to pray for GKCC branch pastors. The same prayer that we have prayed even for our senior pastors and also our newly ordained pastors. Let us lift up our branch pastors before the Lord. Father, we come before your throne of grace. Father, we are lifting up Pastor Amos Moale. Father, we are lifting up Pastor Lindiwe Madonsela. Father, we bring them before your throne of grace. Father, we are praying your grace upon them in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are praying, O oh God, for their lives. We are praying that may you protect them in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Even as we declare Psalm 91 verse 10 upon them, that heavenly Father, no evil shall befall them. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for your protection in their lives and we declare no evil shall befall them, O God, nor, nor shall any plague come near their dwelling. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we are praying for them. We lift them up before your throne of grace. We pray your protection over them, your protection over their families, your protection over the churches where they are. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Mayanda la boso toria bakazadaya rebege tere bakasata ya la rabayande rebendele reboso toria bakazada rebakazada rabaga de bogoda rebogodori bagada rabaye rebege dere reboso toria mande rebendele reboso toria bakazada rebakazada ya la rabayande le rebosa father keep them from evil in the mighty name of the lord jesus keep them from any plague that may happen, Heavenly Father, even around them. We declare that it shall not befall them. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it shall not even come near their dwelling. In the name of Jesus Christ, we even pray for their health. We pray for divine health in their lives. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for divine health. Father, bless them with divine health. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, bless them with divine health. May they be healthy and strong. May they be able to run with you, O oh God, in their callings, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, not hindered by health challenges. Not hindered by health challenges. Father, we pray, keep them healthy, keep them strong to be able to carry the responsibility that you have given to them. In the name of Jesus Christ, keep them healthy. Keep them strong, O oh God. Anoint them, O oh God, and remove every every root heavenly father every seed of sickness that may be in their bodies father remove them right now and plug them right now in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ remove anything that can potentially cause sickness and disease in their bodies in the mighty name of jesus christ father we pray keep their bodies healthy because their bodies is the other temple of the holy spirit so may the Holy Spirit dwell in a body that is not plagued by sickness. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, that is not plagued by illnesses and even diseases. 
In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we thank you. We honor you and we bless you for our branch pastors in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let us pray according to 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 7. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 7. It says, So then, neither he who plants is anything, nor he who waters, but God who gives the increase. So now we're going to pray for growth and stability in the branches, both in quality and also in quantity. So let us pray and ask the Lord that may branches, the branches of GKCC, may they grow and, and, and may they also be stable and we pray that may the Lord increase them in quality and also in quantity. Let us pray. Our Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God, we come before your throne of grace once more. We are lifting up the branches of this house, the branches of GKCC before your throne of grace. Father, we are praying for their growth. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, um, as, the, as the scripture we have read says, um, neither he who plants is anything, nor he who waters, um, but God who gives the increase. Um, so increase comes from the Lord. Um, so Father, we are praying, increase um, our branches in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, increase our branches um, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Um, increase these branches, O oh God, um, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Um, increase them, O oh God, um, and give them stability. May they be stable, O oh God. Um, may they be able to stand um, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May they be able to carry out their mandate wherever they are. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, where they are planted, oh God, may they continue to flourish. May they continue, oh God, to flourish and to succeed in the agenda of advancing the kingdom of God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for growth. We pray for multiplication, oh God, in quantity and also in quality. In the name of Jesus, we pray for multiplication in quality and also in quantity. In the name of Jesus Christ, increase them in numbers. Increase them in numbers, O oh God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, increase them in numbers. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for you are the one who adds to the church. Father, add to their local houses. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, add, O oh God, to their assemblies. Add, O oh God, to their fellowship. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Mayanda Laboso Toria Bakazanda, Rebaka Zete Kelembroko. Ziba, Kerebo Godo Rabagada Rabagadeza, Rebo Godo Rebege de Rebondo Robosa, Rebende Reboso Toria Bacazaya, Rebeke Zida Gada Bagadea, Rebo Godo Yolo Roboso Tole Rebesa, Rebeke Se Tele Rebende Rebosa, Rebo Coso Tola Rabagadaya, Rebagadaya la Rabayan de Rebosa, Mayanda la Raboso Toria Bacazada, Rebaca Sataya la Rabondo Robosa. Increase them in quality as well, O oh God. We pray for quality. We pray for excellence. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that may they grow also in excellence. May they grow in their output of excellence. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may they grow and produce an output of excellence. May they excel in administration. May they excel in the things of the Spirit. May they excel in community outreach. May they excel in raising a people, O oh God, from within their ranks who will continue to grow and carry the responsibility of the house and also of the kingdom of God in every sphere. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we thank you and we appreciate you for the branches. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that you are the Lord of the harvest. Bring harvest, O God, into the house of the Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, through these your laborers, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed, O oh God. Hallelujah. We are continuing to pray. According to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 and verse 2. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 
and verse 2. I'll be reading in the New King James Version. 2 Timothy 2, verse 1 and verse 2, it reads, You, therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus, and the things that you have heard from me among many witnesses. Commit these to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. So now we're going to pray that the Lord will raise a new generation of leadership within the family of GKCC to run with his divine purpose. Let me repeat, you are praying for God to raise a new generation of leadership within the house of GKCC to run with his divine purpose. May we pray. Our Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God, we come before your throne of grace. We are praying for GKCC, that, O oh God, within the house of GKCC, may you raise up a new generation of leadership in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Those whom you have appointed, those whom you have called, Father, we are praying that may you raise them right now in this house, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that they may be able to run with your purpose. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we are praying, raise up a new generation of leadership in this house. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, raise up those, Heavenly Father, whose time has come in this house to be able to be trained, to be able, Heavenly Father, to be equipped to take up their places in ministry and also in different sectors of leadership in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for, for, for your work of raising leaders in this house, a new generation of leaders. We pray, oh God, you have located them already. You know who they are. You know them by name. Father, we pray, continue to raise them continue to do your work in their lives in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Continue to build them up in character and in integrity. Continue to build them up, oh God, that they may grow also in grace, that they may be strong in the Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mayanda laboso toria baka zata yaramande. Rende reboso tori baka zata yalarabesa. Rebese telebro kotoria baka darabazanda. Rebeke zede rebondoro roboria Bagadea, Rebeke de Reboso Toria Bacazataya Laramande, Rebende Reboso Toria Bacazadaya, Rekezi Darabagadobo Cosiondo. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you that you are raising a new generation of leaders in the house, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and that they will continue the work of the Lord. They will run with divine purpose in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We are now going to pray according to 3 John, verse 2. 3 John, verse 2. It says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health, just as your soul prospers. So now we are going to pray for the family of GKCC that God will protect the, the family of GKCC and also heal them and supply their spiritual and material needs and use them mightily. Let us pray for the house in general. Father, we come before your throne of grace. We are lifting up GKCC as a house. We are lifting up as a, every son in the house. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who belong to this family, every member of this family. Father, we are praying that may you protect them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may you protect them, O God. May you heal them. In the name of Jesus Christ, may you supply all their needs, supply their spiritual and material needs. And we pray that may you use them mightily wherever that they are. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you for, for the prosperity of this house. In the name of Jesus, the prosperity of every member of this house, every covenant partner of this house in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Mandaraboso Tolebresia Recrebroski Talabahande Lebosa Recrebrosco Torebegedera Bagazadaya Laramande Zenderebende Leboso Toria Bacasa Tayala Rabaya 
we thank you, O oh God, that you will bless every member of this house with spiritual and material needs. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that you are our shepherd and we shall not lack anything as a house. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you, Lord. We honor you and we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. And now lastly, family, let us pray for the Watchmen Conference that will be taking place on the 23rd of July. Let us commit it unto the Lord and pray that the Lord will cause this conference to be successful in order for it to achieve its maximum impact. Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we lift up the Watchmen Conference. Father, we lift it up before your throne of grace. On the 23rd of this month, Father, we pray as watchmen of this house will be gathering. Father, we pray for your presence. We pray for your grace. We pray for your embrace. We pray that may you be there, O God, and minister personally to every single man who, who will be there. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we pray for your, for your blessing upon the conference. We pray that may it succeed. May it prosper, O God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may it prosper and may it succeed. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, all that you have intended for it, Heavenly Father, we pray that may it happen. In the name of Jesus, may this conference achieve its maximum impact in the lives of every man, every man who will be in attendance and those even who will, who will be watching from different places. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Now let us close in prayer and give God thanks for being with us throughout this whole hour from where we started to be at this point where we are. Let us just thank him and appreciate him that he is a faithful father, that he has heard our prayers, and that he has also answered us. Let us give him praise. Father, we give you praise. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your presence. We thank you that your ears are not dull to hear us. We thank you that you have heard our prayers, that they are recorded, O oh God. We thank you that you have listened and received our prayers and that you have also responded to them. So, Father, we thank you in advance for the manifestation of the answers to our prayers. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we have prayed. Thank you, Lord. Receive all glory, for only you are worthy. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Saints, may the Lord bless you for connecting. May the Lord bless you for praying faithfully and consistently and keeping the culture of this house of praying corporately. May the Lord bless you. Until we meet again next time, good night. <laughs>